We think of vaccines, you know, we normally think of children, but the CDC says there are certain vaccines that adults need to get to keep from getting sick. First up, it's not too late to get a flu shot, but the CDC's immunization advisory board says the flu mist isn't effective, so you have to go with the shot. Second, younger adults should get the HPV vaccine to protect against cervical cancer. Third, the CDC recommends getting a hepatitis B vaccine if you have chronic liver disease or high levels of certain liver enzymes. And lastly, experts recommend that you stay up to date on the meningitis vaccine. Dear Miss Villa, we are a group of scientists at CDC that are very concerned about the current state of ethics at our agency. It appears that our mission is being influenced and shaped by outside parties and rogue interests. It seems that our mission and congressional intent for our agency is being circumvented by some of our leaders. What concerns us most is that it is becoming the norm and not the rare exception. Some senior management officials at CDC are clearly aware and even condone these behaviors. Others see it and turn the other way. Some staff are intimidated and pressed to do things they know are not right. We have representatives from across the agency that witness this unacceptable behavior. It occurs at all levels and in all of our respective units. These questionable and unethical practices threaten to undermine our credibility and reputation as a trusted leader in public health. We would like to see high ethical standards and thoughtful, responsible management restored at CDC. We are asking that you do your part to help clean up this house. It is puzzling to read about transgressions in national media outlets like USA Today, The Huffington Post and The Hill. It is equally puzzling that nothing has changed here at CDC as a result. It's business as usual. The litany of issues detailed over the summer are of particular concern. Recently, the National Center for Chronic Disease Prevention and Health Promotion, NCCDPHP, has been implicated in a cover-up of inaccurate screening data for the Wise Woman, WW, program. There was a coordinated effort by that center to bury the fact that screening numbers for the WW program were misrepresented in documents sent to Congress. Screening numbers for 2014 and 2015 did not meet expectations despite a multi-soft hyphen million dollar investment. And definitions were changed and data, cooked, to make the results look better than they were. Data were clearly manipulated in irregular ways. An internal review that involved staff across CDC occurred and its findings were essentially suppressed so media and slash or congressional staff would not become aware of the problems. Now that both the media and Congresswoman Delaro are aware of these issues, CDC staff have gone out of their way to delay force and obstruct any inquiry. Shouldn't NCCDPHP come clean and stop playing games? Would the ethical thing be to answer the questions fully and honestly? The public should know the true results of what they paid for, shouldn't they? Another troubling issue at the NCCDPHP are the adventures of DRS. Barbara Bowman and Michael Pratt, also detailed in national media outlets, both seemed to have a regular, if not questionable, relationships with Coca Soft and Collar and Ilse representatives. Neither of these relationships were necessary, or appropriate, to uphold our mission. Neither organization added any value to the good work and science already underway at CDC. In fact, these ties have now called into question and undermined CDC's work. A cloud has been cast over the ethical and excellent work of scientists due to this wanton behavior. Was cultivating these relationships worth dragging CDC through the mud? Did DRS, Bowman and Pratt have permission to pursue these relationships from their supervisor Dr. Ursula Bauer? Did they seek and receive approval of these outside activities? CDC has a process by which such things should be vetted and reported in an ethics review, tracking and approval system, EPARTS. Furthermore, did they disclose these conflict directly benefit the public to support an expensive research FOI that may not yield anything that benefits the public? These actions do not serve the public well. Why is nothing being done to address these problems? Why has the CDCOD turned a blind eye to these things? The lack of respect for science and scientists that support CDC's legacy is astonishing. Please do the right thing. Please be an agent of change. Respectfully, CDC Spider, CDC Scientists Preserving Integrity, Diligence and Ethics in Research.